Next up, we're gonna mount our microphone to our stand. For this, we're gonna need your capsule mic, obviously, and we're gonna need a handy little adapter, which comes with all the Audio-Technica mics. So, we're gonna go ahead, ahead and set the capsule down. We're gonna find the silver threading, and we're gonna line it up with the boom arm itself, and it just screws in like so. Uh, there you go. And just guide it in. Make sure that's firm there. Now we're gonna go ahead and screw this on. This has a piece that rotates and tightens on the capsule itself. You wanna make sure we line it up correctly so we don't damage the threads. And before we tighten it all the way, we wanna make sure that we set it up so that it's facing us. One of the things that you need to understand with the Condenser microphones is they're highly directional, uh, particularly the AT20 series. Um, they are extremely dependent on where they're facing and isolating all the other noise. So you wanna try to point the logo to your mouth. I like to set mine up in a way that doesn't uh, you know, obscure my face when I'm on camera. I don't want it to be too close. So that's about fine. We go ahead and tighten and that should be it. All right, now that we've set up our hardware, we're gonna make sure our audio levels are correct in Windows, and then we're gonna open up our software, which in this case, we're gonna use OBS to manage in our broadcast, and we'll go ahead and set that up as well. So, first thing you wanna do is you wanna go into your playback devices, and you need to ensure that the right um, audio output is set. In this case, my monitor has some external speakers, I also have an audio out on the back of my PC, but we're gonna go ahead and use the audio interface that's built onto the microphone, the AT2020 USB. And we're gonna select that. If it's not already set as default, we're gonna set it as default. Um, next thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that our volume is set up correctly to a good level. I think that's fine. Then we're gonna go into recording devices and here we have multiple options. So our webcam actually has a built-in microphone, uh, but we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use our AT2020, which is for vocals, obviously. And we're gonna go ahead and set it as the default if it's not already set up as default, but we're also going to go into properties and we are going to set the level. Now it, it starts off at 50 and you'll be able to see the changes here in a second but actually what we want to do is we want to configure speech recognition and we want to go click on setup microphone and we want to click on desktop microphone and we're going to read something to the computer so peter peter dictates to his computer he prefers it to typing and particularly prefers it to pen and paper now again what you want to do when you're reading this is you want to be at a good distance from the microphone so i think this is an adequate distance and it's going to sound great let's go ahead and save this now you'll notice that the sound level should have changed. That's where the difference is. Windows will automatically adjust that so that it's at an adequate level.